This video is brought to you by Glenn Smith Chevrolet GMC in Opelika. Get ready to smile. Hello, baseball fans. You're watching On Deck with Tyler Redman. Let's talk about the Major League Baseball trade deadline. Because with everything going on right now, the one focus we have that is, is universal is outfielder, right? When Ronald Acuna Jr. went down, all conversations about starting pitcher, bullpen, utility player, those went away and the focus became outfield. And I'll tell you that it wasn't my first focus this year, but you react to injuries and you adjust to them. And there's still a large void in center field with Michael Harris out. Uh, there's no denying that. Again, his timetable is unclear. Uh, so with that, who will the Braves trade for? Who will they go and pick up? Jim Bowden discussed this, and uh, he, he mentioned many of the guys that we have brought up here in the past, um, he, stating, quote, the Braves are focused on improving their outfield room and have been since Ronald Acuna Jr. suffered a season-ending knee injury. Possible outfield trade targets include Jazz Chisholm Jr., Taylor Ward, Randy Arozarena, and Tommy Pham of the White Sox. Jazz Chisholm, over the years, has said multiple times that he'd love to play in the Braves' ballpark. Favorite player to watch in the league? Acuna Jr. Favorite road stadium and why? Oh, Atlanta. Why Atlanta? Because I just love the baseball atmosphere there. It's just fun to play there. Who's the other swaggiest player in Major League Baseball? Acuna Jr. Jazz Chisholm is an exciting player. That's why he was on the cover of MLB The Show a couple of years ago. He's a He is a name value guy. Uh... Now, on the field over the years, he, he hasn't quite hit the marks. There's no denying that. So far this season, he's got a 249 batting average, 12 homers, 321 on base percentage, and a 407 slug. It's not bad numbers at all. In fact, I think they're, they're pretty good numbers, but I don't know that it's what the Braves are looking for, right? The one thing that he does give you is the ability to play not only outfield, but also infield. A lot of guys, especially a lot of you guys, have, have pointed out the weaknesses of Orlando Arcia at the plate. Jazz Chisholm would give you the ability to plug and play not only in the outfield, but also at the shortstop position. So I find that interesting. He's primarily outfield and second base, but he does have some ability to play shortstop, although personally, I don't think that's where his best talents are. I think he is either an outfielder or a second baseman. So that said, if he can't play shortstop, the versatility goes away. But if he can, that does give you one other option out there. I don't hate the move. Uh, he's locked up for a long time, under team control anyway for a long time. He's arbitration eligible next year, uh, and he's a free agent in 27. Being arbitration eligible may make the Marlins go ahead and cash out on uh, Jazz Chisholm while they can. We've already seen the Marlins move Luis Arias and others so far this year. They're expected to move uh, many, many more. Their record is is garbage right now. They're, I believe, still, yeah, they're way last in, in the National League East. So they're going to move some pieces. I expect Jazz Chisholm to be one of them. Uh, and it would not surprise me if it's to the Braves. Uh, and a lot of you may be saying, well, Tyler, it's a division rival. They're not going to trade it. Just remember... They traded us Adam Duvall back in 2021. So it's not impossible. Um, I don't know that I love the move, but I don't hate the move of Jazz Chisholm uh, to the Braves. So we'll see what happens. Again, an exciting player, a player that would give you an option in the outfield and the infield if needed. He's a good hitter. And to be honest with you, the other component of Jazz Chisholm is if you get him out of Miami and you get him on a team that frankly has a chance to win something, that's a guy that may wake up and smell the roses and may be a, you've heard it before, a change of scenery situation. And I think that could be the case wherever Jazz Chisholm goes, but especially if he goes somewhere like Atlanta, which he has already documented saying he'd love to play for those fans. He'd love to play for that in that ballpark. And uh, who could blame him, really? This video has been brought to you by Glenn Smith Chevrolet GMC in Opelika. Get ready to smile. Baseball fans, make sure you like and share this video and subscribe to this channel. As always, thank you for your support.